what people have to understand that our commitment is for a long time. Um, Months, years. This is, well, any country in this sort of condition requires development over a number of years. Now, the part that we play, the part that the security forces play, will be the early, the early stages of that. And our aim is to build up Afghan security capacity so that we can transition to them as soon as is practical. But nobody's going to leave this before the job is done. You need to be absolutely clear about that. Mark Sedwell, you were there when the president visited. You heard the very stark message. He even acknowledged it. Yeah, that's right. But it wasn't really a message that they didn't want him there or his government there. What they didn't want was the situation they'd faced before, where essentially the institutions of government had been captured by local warlords. And then uh, they were abusing that power against the people rather than using government to serve the people. And they were very clear. The local show were very clear with President Karzai. That mustn't happen again. Uh, and he was clear in return that, uh, that it wouldn't, and he would take the steps necessary to ensure the government served the people. This is the fourth time that Marja has been taken over by government forces. The people are right to think, why should be, it be any different this time? Well, I think this is the fourth time that uh, government forces have been into Marja, but this is really the first time that the coalition and the Afghan government have been in with the clear intention of staying permanently and bringing in Afghan government, uh, bringing in... Uh, higher quality police, bringing in all of the services the people of that area want and uh, committing to them that we'll see it through. Uh, and uh, the people of that area are rightly uh, questioning whether that commitment is there, but they can be confident and uh, we will see it through.